3 Early Warning Weather. As expected, wind shifted to be out of the north today as our storm system moved away. We currently have sustained wind speeds between about 5 and 15 miles per hour. To our north, there are some chillier spots, but for many of us, the extra sunshine has actually helped to bump temperatures back up. A few 50s on this map now, 50 in Danbury, New Haven, and Norwich sitting at 48 in Hartford, 46 in Torrington, and 47 in Willimantic. But take a look at what's going on to our north. These deeper blues signify where temps are at or even slightly below 40 degrees, and we will uh, watch temperatures statewide drop back tonight into the low 30s with some upper 20s possible in the mix too. A live look at our iCam and stores shows what we've been dealing with through most of the day. Thick clouds, but we have seen some breaks of sun. A live look at our iCam in Hartford right now. 48 degrees in our capital city. Uh, wind out of the east at 3 miles an hour at Hartford Brainerd. Futurecast showing the quieter conditions overnight tonight. And we will uh, get to enjoy a quiet, calm, clear night. And that leads into a wonderful day of weather tomorrow. Check this out. Temperatures climb rather quickly. We do start off a little bit chillier, uh, but many of us will be back into the upper 40s, close to 50 by lunchtime, with full sunshine expected. Not only do we have full sunshine in the forecast with highs between about 50 and 55 tomorrow, but we're expecting the wind to be fairly calm too. That may change a bit at night. So we'll be tracking this squall line uh, through the evening hours. And this approach is what begins is maybe a bit of rain will quickly uh, transition over to snow showers and snow squalls, a rumble of thunder possible. This all gets going overnight, so this will be well after the evening commute tomorrow. It moves through rather quickly. We see perhaps a brief coating of snow, especially uh, across parts of northwestern Connecticut, and this all wraps up before the morning commute on Thursday. So overnight, things could get briefly slick, and there could even be some reduced visibility on the roads, but we do expect big improvements as we get into Thursday. However, it's going to feel chilly Thursday. Wind chill values likely in the teens to begin the day, only in the 20s for lunchtime. It's not until the afternoon and evening where we start to see those wind chill values relax a bit. By Friday, high pressure sitting near us will shift south, and that will allow a warm front to lift over us. We develop uh, clouds through the day, maybe some rain showers later Friday evening, and giving you the early warning as to what could be a soggy start to your weekend. This area of low pressure works its way through Saturday. So those rain showers are likely to continue Saturday before we dry things out on Sunday. From an impacts perspective, it doesn't look to be too, too bad, but it certainly does look rather wet and a bit windy. 53 degrees is where we end the month for average high temperatures, and we usually see 9.4 inches of snow. We haven't quite gotten there so far this March in the Hartford area. Tonight in the 30s, a couple of 20s mixed in tomorrow, about 50 to 55 degrees, a little bit chillier along the southeast shoreline. Early warning seven day here highlighting a couple of things. Breezy Friday becoming windy on Saturday with that rain, but temperatures will be running well above average in the 60s. Sunday, chillier, still windy, breezy and warmer on Monday before we end up back close to or above 60 degrees on Tuesday. And check this out. Plans to go to Houston? Well, here's the forecast. 77 on Thursday with some showers. Friday looking mostly cloudy. Saturday, there could be some showers in the mid-80s. Sunday, likely some showers there too. And then Monday could be close to 90 degrees. It'll be a couple more months till our seven days look like this. But for anybody going to Houston for March Madness, there it is. All right.